riding on my way. Finally woke up with some luck in the buck. I don't give a what someone, someone say. Finally got my friends in the back on my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moon. When we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the frame burn out for a while Stay in the moon Hello everybody We got one more day A little bit of snow sprinkled this morning uh, Clouds are getting pretty grey A little bit of light But today uh, I want to show you the uh, D500 200 to 500, uh, 5.6, hooked up to the uh, two times teleconverter. I believe it's a, I always forget the numbers. It's a, uh, that's never good, is it? It's an AFS teleconverter TC20E3, two times a spherical. This gives you, uh, all of us, a reach of uh, approximately, I'm sorry, I don't have a holder for my uh, camera here. The uh, gives you uh, 1,500 millimeters of reach. The downside is you lose your autofocus. The, uh, on this lens, you're going to lose your autofocus. So if you don't mind manually focusing, losing a lot of light, it, it boosts it up to f11. So you need some pretty bright days. Uh, but on the good side, you get a lot of reach. So if you're sitting in a blind on a brighter day, you're not in a big hurry. This is the uh, this this setup does work. I'm back here taking pictures of seagulls because like it's freezing cold, very close to home, and I'm very busy at home. Uh, so here you go. I'll take a couple of pictures anyways and let you see the, uh, the seagull I'm taking a picture of is over there on that gravel point. So uh, when another one lands, I'll take a few more pictures. So yeah, so that's just, I'm hand holding the phone. So that just uh, goes to show you that uh, this is very good. You can use it. You got a manual focus. I have astigmatism and I'm not wearing my glasses. I basically adjusted my diopter on the D500. So uh, my method is to get the focus as close as I think it is. Take a few shots on each side by minutely moving the focus so at least maybe one of them will be in focus. I, I really do need glasses, I wear trifocals. Okay, this is how far the seagull is away right now. It's the one in the middle, uh, close to 200 feet away. It's walking a bit right now. The shot I took, uh, it's a two second timer, manual focus, not very bright. I am now going to take a shot of this one that's approximately 120 feet away that you see dipping in the water.
Thank you. Like, subscribe, click the bell. Sorry for the rush. Only a few pictures. This system works. You really got to, uh, it, it's a lot of money for uh, something that's gonna just end up sitting in your pocket most of the time. But if you find a situation you can use it in, it's, uh, it's priceless. Uh, and another thing about a lot of reach in the summertime is you're going to be dealing with heat waves. Heat waves ruin photos. It's like if you can't figure out why you just can't catch a focus and get a sharp photo, heat waves are probably the culprit. So thank you. See you later. Now, this is actually a viable setup if you have the patience and the time to use it. If you're near a park or somewhere where there's uh, ducks close by, you can get quite a lot uh, further away as long as your lighting's good. You can do manual focus. You're going to pull in some good photos. Thank you.